see my presentation? Yes. Thanks. Uh, the use the use of ultrasonography in the diagnosis of new disease among patients with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis a systematic review. Early diagnosis of knee involvement may be essential for better management of PSO and PSA. 58% of patients with PSO have current nail lesions, which can lead to joint functional impairment. The prevalence of PSO may range from 0.5 to 11.8 percent around the world, while the prevalence of PSA amongst patients with PSO range from 5.9 to 48 percent. Six percent to 18 percent of patients have arthritis preceding PSO. So sonography is considered a high or permission method to visualize new diseases. Imagine techniques such as the sonography have been increasingly used to diagnose and to monitor clinical features of PSO and PSA. The sound findings usually include measures, thickness of the nail bed and the ventral and longitudinal plates, as well as loss, loss of the definition morphologic changes in relation to the laminar pattern. Blood flow disturbances, PG signal, and spectral doppler. The object uh, review was to ev evaluate to the use of ultrasound for the diagnosis of nail disease in patients with PSO and PSA by reviewing ultrasound parameters with the best diagnostic accuracy. Methods A systematic search was performed to use Medline, uh, PubMed Lilex. And to identify studies addressing the use of the ultrasound in the assessment in terms of variables relevant in the context of PSO and PSA. To search strategies using a combination of controlled vocabulary, mesh terms, DEX, and PubMed and Lilex. Only studies published during the past 10 years were considered eligible. The papers were screened by two different reviewers using the following inclusion criteria, observational or no therapy interventional studies, patients with PSO and, P and or PSA, studies assessing the use of ultrasound for nail assessment in grayscale, PD signal, and spectral doper. Papers reported in English, French, Portuguese, and Spanish. Exclusion criteria, clinical trials of any phase, phase or study design or case reports. Which are some aspects then of the nail. Nail with loss uh, of telaminar pattern is telaminar, and uh, loss telaminar pattern, gray, gray scale one, two, and three. Uh, other uh, changes, thickness, synthesis. Um, bigger 2.5 millimeters, PD signal on nail insertion, and the spectral doper hesitancy index is low inter internal hesitance uh, uh, related to PSA uh, and PSO subclinical joint uh, change condition. Assessment of risk of by based on the journal brings to the critical price instrument. The Prisma, Prisma flow chart and uh, results detected the uh, 45 citations in a Medline and for, four citations Lilex. Included the studies included is 18 studies. Simple size is varied from 10 to, uh, to, to 130 weight patients. Results is studies comprise measurement on grayscale. There were consistently more nail lesions as measures, measured using ultrasound in patients with PSA for 6 to 5, 54% and PSO compared with health controls. They resume this, this grayscale condition. Patients with clinical nail disease were consistently found to have more lesions on ultrasound. 
56.4% versus 88, 8.8%, and had more frequent ventral nail plate deposits. The sound results have a good agreement with the clinical assessment for nail disease for PSA patients and controls, and, and also a strong correlation for PSA and osteoarthritis patients. It was not possible to confirm the, that ultrasound was more sensitive of, to detect nail disease versus clinical assessment, while there was higher number of nails with ultrasound features in the absence of clinical finds. There were also patients with positive clinical nail disease and no ultrasound feature. Studies comprising quantitative results on PD. Nail bad PD signals were variable in, the, in both patients with PSO and PSA across the studies, which are range varying from 20 to 96 percent. PD signals were usually scored same quantitatively on a scale between 0 and 3. Interestingly, PSO was associated with our grades of PD signal severity. PD signal on the nail bed in health controls higher in relation uh, PSO, health controls versus PSO. It is difficult to assess PD signal sometimes. We must evaluate the, the increase in signal in, 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 in nail insertion. The studies compress quantitative results on spectral Doppler. Two of the, the, these studies, patients with PSO presented with st statistically higher nail food vessel resistance index measurement than health controls. One study assessed resistance to measuring patients with PSA and, his, and reported that patients with PSA had lower resistance to measurement in both the nail bed and controls. Other studies showed that the resistance to measurements is smaller than 0.4 points were associated with 199% of sensitive and specific for an ungal inflammatory activity, respectively. The discussion. This systematic review was conducted to ev evaluate the current analogy about the use of ultrasound for the diagnosis of nail disease in patients with PSO and PSA. Despite some limitations, such as the scared number of studies and methodological heterogeneity, this review is relevant. The conclusion, there are conflict results, especially in the presence of Doppler signals in the new bed. More studies are needed for the evaluation of the diagnosis value of this technique. Thank you for attention.